Tonight we're hearing from the family of 64-year-old William Searles. He was found dead inside his cell at the Harnett County Detention Center. Some family members believe foul play is to blame. WRL's Aaron Thomas spoke with the inmate's daughter. December 29th, that's the day William Searles was supposed to be released from the Harnett County Detention Center after serving a 30 day sentence for a probation violation related to a DWI charge. His daughter tells me that her father was diabetic, but she and other family members don't believe this caused his death. I was really looking forward to going to see him next week, really. But hope turned to heartbreak upon receiving news LaWanda Sneed's father was found dead in his Harnett County jail cell Monday morning. She didn't want to show her face, but wanted to share her pain. I got calls from people that's in there that called some of my other relatives and said that he was beaten. Somebody that worked there also said that one day was taking my father out. She noticed that he was sw his eyes were swollen. And she said, and she worked there. It's hard to say exactly. I mean, certainly the sheriff has an absolute obligation to protect people in his custody. Defense attorney Daniel Meyer has no ties to this investigation. He says while administrators have to do everything to prevent in custody deaths, it's important to know how to respond to them. But you really need to investigate the detention staff um, in things like this to see what, how, how did this happen? Um, but you really need to know, start from where what the cause of death was. WREL covered at least four deaths in the Harnett County Jail since 2011, and in three cases, family questioned the sheriff's office. The county eventually reached a $350,000 settlement with the family of Brandon Bethea, who died in custody in 2011 after being shocked with the taser. Sneed says she'll never stop fighting for the truth about what happened to her father. And I don't want to keep going in circles. I want an uh, answer. Sheriff Wayne Coates tells WRL that he's requested the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation to investigate this case. He also says that the sheriff's office is conducting a parallel investigation to ensure all policies and procedures were followed. Aaron Thomas, WRL News, Harnett County.